As we move through the weekend, similar radar scenes like this. When you hear that rumble that makes you grumble, Northwest Florida, especially around Choctahatchee Bay, East Bay, Tiger Point, you're dealing with downpours. Same thing for both Mobile and Baldwin counties, right in the middle parts of the county. Now, you know, of course, this is clearing the beach at Pensacola Beach as it should. Not that you wanted to, but that's what you need to keep in mind as we go into tomorrow. The Blue Angels, of course, the air show. Temperatures will be about the same. Humidity will be about the same, and so will the rain coverage. As in, for part of the day, there could be a flare-up of thunderstorms with lightning being your threat. Watch the sky, watch your radar. There's the bigger picture, and you'll notice along I-10 is where most of the thunderstorms are right now. There are a bunch in central Monroe County on Highway 21. If you're on the eastern shore, there's your wet weather from Daphne to Montrose. It's slipping southward toward Fairhope, and then light rain along Highway 59 in the Beach Expressway. Mobile County, just into West Mobile, now reaching the airport. Slow moving downpours with lightning. Those are also heading toward the south, so Pine Run, Alderbrook, Dawes, you'll eventually get in on that as Tanner Williams is already seeing the skies darken. Do watch the skies. There's a lesson in every cloud, and the lesson here is they're pretty cumulus clouds. They're pretty until they all start to gather together and then get these crisp edges. That is a growing cumulonimbus cloud, which tells you somebody's going to get a thunderstorm. Right now, our Beau Rivage Tower camera just shows a mixed sky. In the distance, you can see a little rain across the eastern shore. 90 degrees with the heat index of 99. The numbers tomorrow very similar to today, both in terms of temperature and rain coverage and even timing. Most of the afternoon is when the wet weather will occur. Not so much in the morning. That's seven o'clock in the morning. That's noon. And then late afternoon, just like today, thunderstorms will develop semi randomly. We'll get a break tomorrow night. And as we go into the second half of the weekend, most of Sunday is also quiet. That's three o'clock in the afternoon. But it looks like Sunday evening, we could see some thunderstorms come in that are bigger, more widespread, and also stronger to the possibility of some of them being severe with straight line winds. So definitely keep up with that part of the weekend forecast. Here's your seven day tracker. Temperatures are not changing very much. Mid 70s at night, low 90s during the day. But notice from Sunday into Monday, we are going to get wetter and we'll still keep rain for the balance of the week.